everybody. I'm back in my backyard. Well, last weekend when I was doing some yard work, I found some fascinating things. I thought you guys would love to learn about some nature stuff. There's that monkey. He's always wanted to be part of the videos. Are you ready to learn about some nature things? Okay guys, so the first thing I want to show you is this log. It's just a plain log, right? No, there's something exciting about this log. There is a hole in the log, and inside the hole, there is actually an old beehive. The bees are gone now, so they don't need this. You see there's a little one and a bigger one that has three around it. And it in the holes, you can see where the bees used to be, but they're gone. What do bees give us? They give us honey. They're also really good for us because they help the earth by doing what? Do you remember? By pollinating. They make all the flowers grow and all the fruits bloom. On to our next thing. Hey guys, I'm at my neighbor's house and I wanted to show you her pond. Doesn't she have a pretty pond? Can you see what's inside? Look. Does anybody know what kind of fish they are? They're called koi. Right now I can't feed them, but I used to feed them all the time. It's too cold still to feed them. They, or they would come to me if I tried to put my hand in there, but they wouldn't hurt me. They're nice fish. Okay guys, for this mystery, it's not actually in my backyard. It's in my neighbor's backyard. She asked me, did I know what it was? And I said, no, because she thought it was a mystery too. Maybe you can figure out what it is. You see those giant holes? They go pretty deep. There's one more over here, but they're pretty big. Look how big they are. I don't know how far they go in there and I'm not gonna find out. What can live in there? Do you think a dog lives in there? No. What about a cat? No. I don't think squirrels live in there because squirrels live in trees. I don't know. We'll have to solve this mystery. On to our next adventure. Can you see the birdie in the pond? What do you think he's doing in the pond? He's looking for bugs to eat. Because bugs like to hang around the pond. Let's say goodbye to the fishes. Bye fish. Until next time. Maybe on a warmer day they'll come up and you can actually see them better. But it's cold. They stay near the bottom. How many fish do you see? I see four. Oh. Let's see what else we can find. So guys, did you see last week's video about the wood that I have? I'm gonna show you what happens to wood when it sits for a very long time after it's dead. Do you wanna find out what happens? Do you know what happens? Yeah. Let's find out. So, you saw the big piece of wood. Now these are little pieces of wood that have, we have split into half. They're not really the greatest, but they're starting to decay. So after this, like this, let me show you what happens next. This wood is older and softer. See how it's starting to fall apart? What do you think made it get split like that? Well, animals live in there little bugs and worms and then when it gets so soft it turns like this and then after a while it turns into dirt and look what we found in the dirt look look what I found Oop. do you see him what is that it's a worm there's lots of them in here but see how the wood has turned all into dirt? 
and the worms love this dirt because it's so full of all the things they need to eat. Do you see that? Can you believe that used to be wood and now it's dirt? That is how dirt is made. Oh, look at all the worms. Let's pull some things to see if you find anything else. Ooh, look. Ooh, look. Do you see them? And you can see the dirt. How it's turned into dirt. And all the worms. That's a lot of worms. Let's turn this one over and see if we can find them in this one. You think we'll find anything? Up. Oh. Nope, because it's not really decaying yet. Let's do one more. Oop, more worms. Now, I'm gonna show you next what I found, but I put them in safekeeping just first to show you. I'll go get Let's it. See right how many worms we can find. Let's dump it into this bin. Ooh, yummy. If I was a fish. That's a lot of worms. There's one worm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that eight? That's the eight. <laughs> Nine, ten, look, I'm all over here. Eleven, twelve, <laughs> thirteen, fourteen. Do you think we should still count some more? Part of one and a half. Four, the fifteen. Now I get lost track of counting. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Oops. <gasps> Seventeen. The baby. Eighteen. And more. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Sean. We can find twenty. Go. Wait, 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 wait. Oop. 19. <laughs> you think we can find 20 worms in here? Oh, there's one. 20. 20 worms. Who's ready to have some spaghetti for dinner tonight? Okay, we're going to put them back in the soil and then put them back under the in a bush so they can make the soil even richer. Up oh, there's another one. And look, Miss Tina found a baby tiny one. Can you guys see? Look how little that one is. Okay, now are you ready for your next surprise? I'll go get it. So, on last time we talked, I told you I had a mystery guest. Are you ready to find out what it is? Now I found one, I put them in this container so I can keep them so I can show you. But I will put them back in nature when I'm all done. So let's see if we can find them. Anybody guess what he was? I told you, up oh, there he is. Can you see him? Does anybody know what that is? It's a salamander. Messina loves salamanders. You have to be very gentle with them. You have to wash your hands after you touch them. But I just picked them up to show you, and I'm gonna put him back. But I thought you guys would like to meet him. I think he's very cute. 
They like to live in things that are wet. And that's why under that wood pile was a great place for him to live. Because there's lots of little bugs and it's wet and it's cool. I think he's very cute. What do you guys think? He's cold. Is he gonna hurt me? No, he's not gonna hurt me. But if you ever find one, don't pick it up. Show your parents and leave them be. Okay guys, I have one more thing to show you. Say bye. Remember how we talked about how trees turn back into soil? Well, this tree used to be a humongous tree that was just left with a stump. And now look at it. It's just little pieces of wood left. Do you know how big that tree was before? It was bigger than this tree. And it was cut down because it was dead. And now look at it. It's just these little pieces left. It took lots of years for that to happen. But it all turned to dirt. There's one more thing I want to show you. This is my garden. This is parsley that I actually grew last year that's starting to come back. This is flat leaf parsley and this is curly parsley. Parsley. Do you guys remember when we grew it last year? It tastes delicious. This is my rosemary that I grew last year and it's starting to go back. I also have a little bit of seeds over there. We'll find out what happens soon. So, do you know what else I found? Since we're talking about plants and things that grow, I found these in my plants. Do you know what it is? They're baby trees. Those pesky little squirrels, they like to bury their acorns in my pots. And then in the spring, they start to grow. You see the acorn and the roots and the stem and the leaves. And see the little hairs on the roots? That's what drinks up the water. Is that cool? I think so. Well, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed my nature. Have a great day. Until next time, bye. Look guys, I found a book about a tree that fell down and decayed, just like the one we saw outside. You wanna hear the book? Okay, here we go. Log Hotel. This oak tree has been living in the forest for a hundred years. One day, a strong wind knocked the tree down. The tree falls to the ground. Now the tree is a log. Soon, ants and beetles move in and eat the log. They drill small tunnels in the log as they eat. The tunnels help to make the log soft as it decays. This woodpecker is listening for bugs inside the log. As soon as it hears a bug, it drills through the bark to catch it. Tap, 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 tap. Soon, living things called fungi grow on the log. Inside the log, fungi look like spaghetti. Outside the log, fungi looks like mushrooms. Snails and slugs move in. They creep through the tunnel as they hunt for fresh fungi and dead beetles and ants to eat. The tunnels get bigger and the log gets softer. A snake slithers through the log. It is looking for a place to rest for the winter. Soft moss grows on the log. 
Green ferns grow in and around the log. This log is like a plant, an animal hotel. As time goes on, more and more plants and animals move in. The log gets softer and softer. Now the shape of the log is hard to see. Earthworms eat what is left of the log. The earthworms turn what they eat into soil. The soil is a perfect place for seeds to grow. The seed will grow into a tree and one day the tree will fall. It too will become a long hotel.